Hello and welcome to the Healer's Commentary. Spells of Gameplay with a Casting of Thoughts, a Critique, and Advice. My name is Bluegill75, I almost forgot that intro. Uh, took a little break off magic, I was just... I think I was just taking the game too seriously. Not sure what was going on, just with... I don't know. There's... There is a competitive... Um, aspect to the game. But I keep trying to have that with random ass people. So whenever something that doesn't work out too well, when something that I think that should have been obvious, my teammates aren't catching on, or just playing with new people and I'm just powerless and not doing very well with support, so I'm just trying to learn to just go with the flow. Like if it turns out being a silly game or it just turns out being a stomp, just see what see what I can learn from it. So, however, just trying to work out with this. Just it was going on as a good night. Just. It just got a little rough, just trying to take a backseat, keep my allies alive, just wasn't too focused on the map, just trying to work with people. Like, but at the same time, there's people trying to kill me and people trying to kill my ally. And just trying to see what I can do here, like countering this guy's spells here. Like, I didn't see too much sense of help my ally right there, because the guy I was going against, he wasn't too quick to counter my spells, so I figured... Okay, I don't think this will take too long, so I'll work away at that. I find that for rock walls, it it seems that death beams will break them really quickly. But if you can counter the element it was enchanted with, then it will break quite a well that way too. So just managed to take care of that. We did have that point, but then the enemies started to rush in on us. I, I, I saw this from Jensen. He's one of the pro players of... A wizard wars. If you give yourself lightning wards and you put lightning shield life, you kind of get that life lightning storm. That, that seems to work better than using the turtling technique, at least for me, where I have life affinity, where I have a lesser shield affinity. It seems to be about the same, even if you don't have an increase of life affinity. But I find using that trick works very well, so. I'm trying it out, I'm just seeing having lightning wards whenever I don't need to have anything else on. And then when I start taking a lot of damage, I'll have life lightning storm. And then I'll walk into it where I don't get take any lightning damage or stun. And then I'm able to regain my health quite quickly. Right here, for example, just right before that, able to do take care of it pretty well. And a little lag here and there, just trying to keep aware, like awareness is a, a thing in the game. There was an update in the game, you can ping on the map. I completely forgot about it, but it didn't... I didn't quite get the hang... you'll see it later in the match. There was... you can ping on the map to let your allies know something, if, you, if there's a capture point being taken, or if there's an enemy that needs chasing down. Anything like that, you can throw melee weapons at people. That's... works quite, quite, quite well. Instead of having to charge up rocks, I'll just throw my axe at people. Very, very effective and nice. Like I like doing that. And there was a new magic. I like to get my hands on it. it. I think it'd be quite effective for a support aspect anyway. It's called Brainwash. It was in this new update today. Any imps or any minions of any sort, you can... They... Any hostile AI, you use it on them, and they'll be friendly to you. They get all their health back, and then they start attacking the enemy. And it will work on the undead imps. And yes, it will even work on death themselves. So when they're going for you, if you can land the magic on them, they'll turn right around and go for the enemy. I haven't I haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. I, I don't have enough crystals to do it yet, but I am looking forward to it. Because I don't use my... I don't use the, the two magic all that often because I'm more focused on... on dealing damage or just trying to stay out of the way. So, and near the end of a match, or whenever I, I see fit anyway. I'll try to use revive whenever I can. Teleport just to get my butt out of a bad situation. Teleport is very useful, but you, you'll start to notice in the match, it just has been working out very well. The enemy was wise to keep capturing our, our points. So our capture, our points were going down quite, quite a bit. And this little problem happened here. I'm just trying to find my teammates and get to them, but 
they, they just r rushed right towards me, so I'm thinking, should I fight them? Should I try to hold them off, keep them busy or anything like that? But the reflexes weren't too quick. They just bunched together. So that was the thing there. Like, it's not like they were being super pro or anything like that. Just, we were a little too spread out, me by, being by myself and not being too focused on capturing points anyway. That's the thing of the game. Like, getting kills is pretty good, but... If there's someone on the enemy team capturing points behind your back, you might end up not having a cap a, uh, a spawn point to come back to. And good play by the guy there. I'm trying to get my lightning wards on. The storm will still do damage, just not as much, I don't think. But getting to this point, I realized, oh crap, we uh, we almost are out of points. So I was thinking, um, okay, yeah, maybe we should stick together. So thankfully, the guy on our team was able to knock us out of our senses anyway just trying to trying to do a lot of things <laughs> looking at what's going on here just just try to look at what spells people are casting but that managed to work out anyway just when someone has life wards on it's not a whole lot you can do but that wasn't a big big deal at that point in the match anyway i was just thinking i can't believe we lost so many points right there and then and yes that guy took him out. Team kill, I believe it was. That was pretty rough. Yeah, I can understand the frustration there. So I was, I was thinking, well, we're getting to that point now. If I can get my revive, I don't think I realized it at this point. And then I used a little bit of my of my magic, my focus to get over there. I didn't realize that. Oh crap! I could have used revive right there and then. So what I was basically trying to do was just try to buy some time so that I can. Revive my ally. So I'm just trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. And yeah, as you can see, it can fight off damage quite well. It's a little tricky there, just trying to avoid dying right here. And I don't know, it just seems that healing yourself when you're a healer seems to do very well anyway. And once I was able to get my focus build, I was able to revive my ally. And all of us were alive. I yeah, the other guy is off on his own doing something. So there's not I, there's not a great point in capturing enemy spawn points. It's just to reduce their points. However your best bet is just try to keep killing them and just either take their spawn points so they don't respawn. Or just try to hold it out for long haul and try to reduce that score down as low as you can as long as, as, long as you're still alive. I think there's at least there's at least two of us who have revived, so we had a backup plan in case we ended up dying anyway. But it's just a matter of getting that revive magic built up again. You can build it up pretty quickly by killing imps. You, whenever you get a kill on something, you'll get a little boost in your focus. But it tends it, it will grow a little bit over time. Just At this point here, I'm looking around. There's not a whole lot to do. I don't think healing will give you extra focus. I kind of wish it did. There could be buffs to healing. I'm... I'm not sure what the developers are planning to do with the healing mechanic because I find that the healing beam, it doesn't really work all that great. I find there's the latency in the game. If someone is beside me and we're both walking in the same direction, if I'm trying to heal someone who is walking beside me, it, it doesn't register. I don't know if I'm the only one who notices that, but it makes my job a lot harder because it's not that the guy is hard to hit, it's hitting. But it's not registering. If they're in front of me, it will register. But there have been points in a match where someone is walking beside me, and we're both walking in the same direction. If they're on my left or right, the, the game will not register that healing beam. I have to... I don't know if I have to use healing rocks or anything like that. Just It makes it really tricky. Like, I have to... I, I just have to stay behind him, I guess. I, I'm not sure what else I can do about that. But to my surprise, we're still hanging in there in, in this game anyway. I don't know if killing friendly imps will build focus, but I can understand why people would do that anyway. Yeah, then I realized that we had ping on the map, and I just realized, oh crap, this happened again. Just trying to stay out of it, but this, this happened here. Just When that lightning storm happens, you gotta get out of it, or it will take you out quick. I believe it's a uh, tier 4 magic, so you gotta be very, very careful about that. I did see my ally here, and just trying to there wasn't a whole lot I could do right there in that battle, just... Did manage to revive this guy here. 
So I managed to bring him back. Just It was looking like we had a chance anyway. I thought we were screwed right there and then. But the match was still going on. Like I think this is one of the longest matches I've ever played. It was amazing how how we were still making it anyway. And what am I doing here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I was thinking that maybe that charging focus again will help me revive the guy who was dead here. And it seemed to matter was just just try to last long enough so that the enemy will have no spawn points left and then try to take him out there and then. That seemed to be the common goal anyway. You can you can uh, skip that by taking all the spawn points and then killing all the enemies so that they can't respawn, therefore you win the game. So even if it's 0 to 90, if you kill the winning team and they can't respawn, you win. That's kind of what I like about the game. It's kind of it can kind of change in a flash. But I didn't really see a need to use other wards in this match. I tend to go for earth wards or fire wards or anything like that. If it's depends on the situation, like right here, I don't think I used lightning wards. I did. So instead of just trying to counter his spells and just trying to put all my focus on him, I just put up that little storm and gave myself some healing to keep myself in the fight longer and it seems to recharge health very quickly and at that point in the match where I have my revive magic ready again so in case someone dies we're able to bring someone back and deal with that just at this point here you may be able to see it doesn't really register it's really frustrating like I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to work around that either it healing rocks or something I'm not sh quite sure what it is. So, yeah, like, some things I'm just frustrated by, like, I don't really feel like I don't have a lot of power in. Teammates are one thing, but when game mechanics are working against you, it can be pretty demoralizing. Just trying to do the best that you can, but I'm just trying to learn not to depend on allies so much, because there may be times where you're trying to support someone who is new to the game. So there's always that. So... And that tends to make a person nervous, like in TF2 when you give Nuker to somebody. They might freak out and they might panic and they won't know what to do. So you have to know who was worth supporting. It's not just supporting your team. There has to be at least one person that you can count on and help them deal the majority of the damage and, and heal them so that they can focus on dealing damage if they're good at doing that. Whereas my character is much better at healing and other characters where he has that bonus. And I'm able to heal myself too, like that's a rarity for healers anyway. So I'm able, so I have really good sustain as well. Like there's shield affinity where you just spam turtle, like uh, life mines and life earth wall. That works out very well. It will buy a lot of time. It's not very good for team fights because it just helps you stay alive. That's really about it. But to my surprise, we were able to make it. We were able to take down those guys, and holy shit, we won. So, yeah, that was healer commentary on this map. Magicka, Wizard Wars. And after this, I said, call it a night and just see what I got. Just a water crystal. I'm looking forward to getting the new brainwash magic. Whenever I have something interesting to show or just something worth talking about, I'll share some gameplay video with you. So, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching.